I have 10 new mobile games for you, 10 that have just launched and barely have a lot of downloads yet. They're waiting for you. So let's dive into this list of 10 that just dropped that you should probably know about. To start off the list today, we have Warhammer 40,000 Warp Forge. This is a card battler action strategy style game, one which is very similar to others like Marvel Snap or like Hearthstone. If you're someone who's into a world or a realm that's built around Warhammer and you're into the card strategy style games, this is one that is a must check out for you. I think the development team here did a really nice job capturing the entire Warhammer world. The graphics inside of the game are great. The action that is ensued during play is fun and keeps you engaged and it's, you know, makes it feel a bit more like an action game. And overall, the combat is fun, PvP is nice, and it gives you a nice learning mechanic at the start of the game. Go Up Parkour. This reminds me a bit of Subway Surfers in the way that the graphics look, but it plays more like a parkour platformer 3D style game. Inside of this one, you're gonna take an exciting journey to new heights where you can run, jump, and climb through an immersive world. This game is definitely a casual experience and it bridges the gap between platformer and 3D. The reason why you may want to download this one is if you're looking for something with a little bit of a different perspective. The game does look different from many others that we played. So if you're a platformer style fan, or if you love parkour or just casual, calm, kind of cheesy like games, this could be a good option for you, especially if you love the subway surfer look. Next up, we have Sky Defense War Duty. This is an action style game where you're gonna be guarding your base and exploring the shooting world of all the weapons that you have at your arsenal and against all the enemies that decide to try and take you down. This is both an online and an offline experience for all of you offline gamers out there. The people who I would recommend this game to would be people that are interested in tower defense style games or bullet hell style games or games where you get to customize a really cool weapon and take down big enemies as they income towards you. Definitely casual, definitely fun. Reminds me of a zombie style horde game, but with planes. And next we have Reverse 1999. This is one of the top role-playing turn-based strategy games out right now, and it just launched about two weeks ago. I actually spent some time playing the game on the channel and showed all of you what it was all about. Something I have to say is, it's an extremely fun game that has a cool merging mechanic with the cards, which are your attacks, that you use to determine the attacks that you do in your battles. In addition to all this, you have a large world that you can explore in a very linear style way, following some story. The graphics are incredible. The way that Reverse 1999 distinguishes itself as different between others in the genre is how it traverses time. Taking you from the past to the future to the present, all while engaging in combat and unlocking new characters and heroes along the way, makes this game extremely fun, very enjoyable, and something that makes you want to keep coming back to play more, progress more throughout the game, and just win those battles as you power yourself up. Definitely a must play. Stellar Wind Idol Space RPG. What we're looking at here is a role-playing strategy game that has offline capabilities and it has auto battle mechanics inside of it. You know, it's got the idle mechanic. If you like space games, if you like powering up your ships and just hanging out up in the skies amongst the stars, this is something that you may enjoy. Definitely a casual experience and one that takes very little time for you to progress. We can thank the idle mechanic for that, which allows you to progress even while you are not playing. Definitely a good game for you space fans out there that don't have a ton of time to get. All right, it's time for my poll, guys. Let me know, do you prefer cold weather or warm weather? I'll be looking in the comments below. Titan Knight. What we have right here is an action style shooter game that is pretty darn fun to play. You're gonna join a daring reconciliation mission alongside an array of towering AI, Titan robots, giant mechs, and resilient survivors at the frontier to rebuild your homeland. This game provides a thrilling and immersive experience with its intense, rich action, storyline, and futuristic world filled with advanced AI technology, gears, weapons, vehicles, 
and a range of humanized AI enemies to conquer. If you're interested in battles alongside of mechs, and obviously if you're into AI type battles, or if AI is just your new type of trendy thing, this is one to check out. It's definitely fun and definitely filled with action. And then we have Goat Simulator 3, which is for pre-registration right now. I mean, Goat Simulator is a cheesy, corny, yet fun style simulation game. A lot of people were so into this game 10, 15 years ago, and now it's coming out and gonna be available on mobile, where you play as a goat, put your goat in some weird situations, and just have some fun twisting them up and really causing a whole bunch of mayhem. Now we feature a ton of different bullet hell survival style games here on the channel. I Survivor is one of the newer ones that is an option for you to play. I would be going out on a limb if I said this was one of my favorites because let's be honest, it is not, but it is one of the newer ones and one that we've never featured here in the channel. It does have some cool mechanics on how you have your battles and how you upgrade your weapons, and that's what makes it a little bit different from the others that you may have already played. Runes Battle is an action game that just because of the artwork reminds me of a game that I used to love back in the day called Knighthood. Inside of this one, you get to customize your hero, make them look the way that you want to, and then take them into the battles as you progress their stats to really allow you to have the fight that you're looking to have. The battle mechanics inside of the game are pretty standard, nothing crazy or groundbreaking here, but I do like the artwork style. And that artwork style is really what drew me into the game. But check out this final game on the list because it's my absolute favorite. Now the final game on the list is Warcraft Rumble. And it's so good that I wanna give you a live playthrough because I am in love with this game to the point where I started a brand new YouTube channel called Echo Warcraft Rumble just to put out videos on this game every single day. So we have our map and there are many different ones. There's PVE and PVP. Inside of this battle, I gotta take down the quill bore and I need to be able to take down these stations along the way, get the gold along the way, utilizing the army that I have chosen. So let's start things out right here and plan out how this is all gonna go. I'm gonna drop my cards here, my eggs. They're gonna be attacked and then they're gonna attack those enemies from above. That's the plan, that's how we're going about it. And we got our tank coming in right here. We're gonna go with a little spear goblin as well. That's gonna help take out some of these enemies before they can get to my tower. And we're doing some good damage to start. They have a dragon coming in here. And what I'm gonna do is drop this right here, distract the dragon, take that down. We're gonna go ahead and get another tank going, and I wanna go try and get some of this gold. Now we're gonna be heading over. Look at their their final boss is already almost taken down. We're going on with the quill bore right there to kind of do that. We're gonna try and take down this dragon right here. But bang Actually, we didn't even need that. That worked out really nicely. Check this out. We're gonna take down their final boss right here, and that is a very quick look at this game, a game that I'm absolutely in love with. Of course, we pull in the victory. Now on top of that, let me show you really quickly all the different minis and the leaders that you can have inside of this game and build your decks around. No, this is not Clash Royale. It is very, very different offering PVE and offering PVP to anyone who games. And there we go, getting some nice upgrades along the way. Notice my leaders are up top and all of the minis that I could use are down on the bottom, all which could be upgraded to level 20, then with talents, skills, and other upgrades, all the way up to level 30. The game's a lot of fun. It has a pay to progress mechanic, and it is not pay to win, like some of the other games that you may know me for playing. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Consider subscribing to the channel if you did. And if you're into Warcraft Rumble, come on over to that channel, Echo Warcraft Rumble, and see what I have going on over there.